Hi there, welcome back. So in this lecture, I'm going to explain some of the things which I couldn't um, show you earlier. So let's get to it. So as you can see that we have used a function called pregmatch and we have used uh, this piece of code over here as a parameter one for this function. So what is it? So it means it has a meaning it means if you look closely then you'll see that a dash z so this portion alone it means that if somebody the end user inputs password that has capital letter a to capital letter z it is acceptable from a to z all capital is acceptable then we see that a dash z it means that if somebody wants to uh, you know mix and match their password with lower um, alphabets then it is acceptable as well lower case okay and then we see 0 to 9 and once again if somebody wants to uh, you know mix and match their password using numeric values starting from 0 all the way to 9 then we are going to accept it as well and that's all there to it this is what it means and uh, what else so uh, what we are saying is that uh, your password should be um, alphanumeric and uh, uppercase and lowercase if you create a password using this instruction then we are going to accept your password and we're gonna you know see it as a valid form of password so that's all there to it there's another thing that i was gonna show you right here in array so every time you want to use this function called in array make sure that your array the name of your array comes as a second parameter okay because if you use your array as a first mirror parameter then you're gonna see a warning or more like an error so let's give you a demonstration so imagine that uh, we put it as a first parameter and now if I reload and try to input something like this look what it says it says that in array expects parameter 2 to be an array okay so that's what I'm talking about like this name the name of our array should be the second parameter should always be the second parameter anytime every time we are using this function called in array now if I reload things will it will disappear and if I input any data like John at gmail.com and uh, one two three four five six submit and voila we no longer have any error messages so this is how uh, you're gonna be using in array and you know just be careful not to use your array as a first parameter name of your array to be your first parameter for this function and uh, if there's anything else um, nope, that's pretty much it. I hope this has been informative and you've learned some valuable lessons. See you in the next lecture. Thanks, bye.